it is Erin or Gimme Yarn 418 and this is Thank God It's Finished or TGIF. Um, I have a lot to show you. Um, so I'll, I, I'll just say a little bit about what's going on. I'm finally starting to get caught up. Um, and I, I feel a little bit more centered, not centered, but I feel more in control of what's going on. Whereas a couple weeks ago, I just, I was, I was, I felt like I was drowning. Um, but things are going well. Um, I'll mention now, I got a wholesale bag order for a yarn shop in California for several dozen bags and those were shipped off this week and received and that was a huge weight lifted off of me. I do need to learn a word. <laughs> it's a two letter word, it's no. Um, it's, it's hard for me to say no to people. Um, so I need to work on that one. But otherwise things are going pretty well. We got a lot of snow. Our Thanksgiving got snowed out so it was just Kristen and I. Um, we were supposed to have a couple people here, but um, they couldn't make it because of snow, which is fine and understandable. I had a we had a lovely day. Um, I did a lot of crafting, which I'm sure is a shocker. So let's get into what I have been working on. Let's put Dewey down and hope he's quiet. The first thing I finished, I don't know if I showed last week. I don't know if I had started it. Is the Antler Cardigan by Tin Can Knits, and it has fuzz all over it. This is out of will ease in, in a green color I don't know what green it is it's been washed and blocked I just have to add the buttons which I just picked up the other day at Joann's on Wednesday went for their Black Friday sale so that's done that's part of an order I have two more sweaters for that order what else I made a couple project bags the first bag I made I made this Wednesday night for myself it's just um a wedge bag. There's some stuff in there with um, snowman, cowboy snowman, and inside I put all my ornament yarn um, because that is on the horizon. And I love this fabric. It's so super cute. I don't usually sew with zippers because I am not good at zippers. Um, I also made this little hedgehog bag, a little bit smaller. Um, this, this zipper actually is the best zipper I've ever done, but that was just a fluke. And I made one other bag, and that is this sheep bag. And he's lined with little polka dots, which I think is really cute. Um, this is also a wedge bag. Finish that. Um, on Thanksgiving, I took out my Batman fabric that I had purchased, and I didn't know what to do with. And I made this. I had bought a pattern because I had figured out what I wanted to do with it um, for a bucket um, from Joann's when they had them 99 cents or three for five dollars or something like that. So it, the, the pattern was for all these animal faces on buckets, applique on, and I knew I didn't want that, but it had the basic bu bucket pattern, which I liked. So I thought this was great because I got to utilize as much of the superhero fabric as I could, and I got every single whole Batman that was on the half yard of this fabric that I bought um, got onto the bucket, and this will go next to my chair to put all my project bags in for uh, my knitting and crochet and cross stitch and whatever other handwork projects I have going on. And this line just in a white muslin. Um, then, well, yesterday I decided I wanted to try the pyramid bag. I had made a list of bags that I wanted to try. Um, yesterday I devoted to selfish crafting, um, because I've been doing so many things for orders. Um, I just wanted to take a day to be, to be selfish, and I was very thankful for that on Thanksgiving. So, <laughs> the first bag I pyramid bag I made was this and it was really successful and I was actually really surprised at how easy it was um because the directions make it sound oh so complicated but this was a little bit bigger than what I wanted so I decided to try um some smaller ones with some scraps of fabric I had and I made this teeny tiny notions bag and it has gnomes on it and inside is this really cute sparkly fabric. Crafting Claudie might 
recognize that. And then I made this one, which the width of this bag is perfect in one direction, but too narrow in the other. So I think I know the perfect size to make this again. Um, so this one was still just a little bit too small. I wanted it a little taller. So I'm going to try again. And um, maybe someday I will add zippered project bags to the shop. Maybe it'll be uh, as it comes, you know, as I have extra time to fiddle with them because I'm really bad at them. And you'll have to know that going into it that I'm not the best zipper sewer. Um, so that is all my finished objects, which is actually a lot of finished objects um, for me lately. Um, so what am I working on? The first thing I'm working on is a super secret project that I can't show you for my Secret Santa. I'm also working on the It's a Puzzle Socks. from spin This uh, yarn is It's a Puzzle by Spinning Fates. And I finished the first sock, and I started the second sock. Let's see. Um, I think this is called the Cafe Latte pattern, and I adjusted it a little so it was centered down the foot instead of skewed off to the side because I am OCD, um, and I love these socks. But those socks got put on the back burner because yesterday was Thanksgiving, so I could officially start something Christmas-themed. So I started a pair of socks, again out of Spinning Fates, um, which is um, Etsy.com slash shop slash Spinning Fates. She's awesome. Um, this is out of Santa's workshop. This is a new acquisition for me. Um, I placed a Spinning Fates order. I'm just doing a plain vanilla sock with Fish Lips Kiss heel. And I'm loving them so far. Um, the next work in progress I threw over here, hold on, oh, is, it's called Baby Tea Leaves. It's a paper pattern on Ravelry. I'm knitting this out of Bernat Softy Baby in the soft lilac color. This is for an order to go with that, um, the antler. This is the 12 month size, and I'm about halfway through, I have to get this to four and a half inches, I would say that's probably about two inches. It's really cute, really simple, but it's the dreaded purling in it. So I'm working on that. That's all my knitting, crocheting projects. I don't have any crocheting projects right now. What else am I working on? Um, I started my sheep quilt for my final goal that I have to accomplish. And this is about as far as I've gotten. I pulled out um, this jelly roll quilt top that I had almost done. So I pulled this back out and finished this yesterday, and I've started to quilt it to, with the backing. I'm using this flannel that I got. I went to Joann's on Wednesday for the flannel sale, and I got this gray flannel to go on the back of it. So I've started doing that. I think this is going to go to the Haven with the next batch of donations. I guess I don't have to really fold that up that nicely. Um, I also pulled out the quilt that Lorna quilted for me so that I can trim that up and bind that. That's a gift for ourselves for Christmas. And that's all my works in progress. I did frog one thing, the Mona socks that I was knitting out of, Socks That Rock Silky Socks in the Jabberwocky color. I frogged them because I just wasn't feeling them and I was overwhelmed with the amount of projects I had on the needles and obligations I had coming up. So I frogged those. I do think I'll probably start them again. I had only just barely finished the ribbing, so I frogged those. What's up next? I need to knit another baby sweater for that order. Christmas ornaments and Christmas stuff. Slippers for my sister. Uh, I'm gonna be making pajama pants for us. Rag quilts for our nieces. Just a lot. I feel like I have a million projects in like 24 hours to get them done in. But I will get them done if I get them done. And if I don't, I don't. Um, as I did just mention, I went to Joann's on Wednesday for their Black Friday sale on flannel. Flannel was $1.74 a yard. There's 
there's a piece of um, thread floating in my coffee. So I stocked up on a ton of flannel um, because I'm making rag quilts, pajama pants, Christmas gift for somebody. I'm going to make a couple little blankets for the dogs for Christmas. Um, so I'm not going to lug all that out, but I will insert a picture of all of that and the fabric queen sitting on top of it right here. So yes, that is Dewey sitting on top of a pile of fabric and he actually fell asleep on the counter on top of the fabric. He was ecstatic. The other thing I got was I placed an order, like I said, with Spinning Fates. I got the Santa's Workshop yarn. I also got, these are all self-striping, on Tula Sock, which is 80% merino, superwash merino, 20% nylon. I also got Jingle Elves. And I got Space Cadet. And the accidental astronaut. I just noticed that I got two Christmas colorways and two like space colorways because so, I got an astronaut and a space cadet. Um, so that's the accidental astronaut. This is one of those yarns that has a solid stripe and then a variegated stripe which I really 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 like. So what's next? Oh the secret Santa. Um, I'm finishing up my projects. I hope everybody else is and having a great time putting their pro packages together. Just a reminder that international packages need to ship by next Friday, December 5th, and domestic or in the same country packages need to sh ship by two weeks from today, which is December 12th. They must be shipped with tracking. You need to send me that tracking number. You also need to tell me when you receive your package and post a picture and a thank you in the chatter thread over on Ravelry. Um, the chatter thread is so much fun. I am enjoying um, talking and listening to what everybody's saying about the Secret Santa. I have been having a fantastic time with it. Everybody has been super, super, super... I mean... I couldn't ask for a better swapping experience. That could change. Uh, I'm hoping that nobody flakes out and that everybody follows through on shipping to their swappies. But so far, it's been really fun and exciting. And Kristen's swapping too, and I'm watching her make her stuff and uh, gather all her stuff up. And it's been, it's just, it's really been a blast. Um, so keep those dates in mind. Um, and last but not least, the Hacks for the Haven. I will be making the second donation to the Haven next Friday, December 5th. So if you still had hats that you wanted to send in, I would just need them by the 5th. Um, and if not, and you're donating in your area, I, I just think it's great that we, as a community, a knitting and crocheting community, are giving back to the community, to the, the communities, given to the community. Um, <coughs> Yeah, I'm a little under the weather. I don't know if you can hear it in my voice. I have a little frog. I have a little tickle. Um, so I am going to go. Um, I'm hoping this video comes out all right. I don't usually stand up and record, um, but I wanted to show off the beautiful stockings. Um, all the stockings, we had them all last year except for Max's. And when I hung them up this morning, I realized that I centered Mia's name and I put Max's name to the left. So... I'm just going to have to deal with it because I'm not ripping it out again. So, I hope you're all doing really great. I hope you had a great turkey day if you're in the U.S. or in a, a great week everywhere else. And until next time, I'll talk to you later. Bye.